Hi guys, so this is for Capricorn for the next 48 hours. I hope you guys are doing well. So we have a lot of changes going on. We have a yacht energy that's passing through Capricorn. It's major transformation, some challenging communication, deep feelings, Mercury is retrograde. Um, people could feel very intense about some of the situations that are going on around us, about the changes about the expansion or the fundamental changes that we're going through in society. This is being met with deep, intense feelings about, or extreme rebellion. I mean, you know, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, Scorpio in the house of shared resources, endings and beginnings, the life cycle. So there could be some communication struggles going on here with people that you share your life with. And this is an opposition to real rebellion, or it could be a need to be conservative and hold back. So, or to be cautious during this time. We have challenging communication with the people in your life, with the North Node in Gemini, that could lead to major fundamental change. Somebody could say something um, that is really just, you know, not okay with you and it makes you make a decision about whether you're going to talk to that person anymore. We have the sun and the moon in Libra in, and the moon is in opposition to Chiron and Aries. So your feelings about your partnership and the strong bonds of a partnership, either career or love life, you need to heal the wounds of the past, and there's also an issue with selfishness. Aries, Mars retrograde in Aries is opposing the energy of a need for harmony and balance in partnerships. So on Friday, we still have the same energy. We have a lot of communication happening between Libra and Gemini, and then we have a lot of strong Earth element energy between Virgo and Capricorn. So there's a breakdown in an old structure. There's a need for compassion towards people in our everyday life. And there could be some communication challenges. There could be some karmic challenges. People could be asking, demanding attention from you, demanding your attention. And then this, you know, there's a change in the structure. There's a change in the way if somebody is demanding that you give more, because Scorpio could be with Gemini North Node um, over to Libra, could be a need for balance when one person is like obsessed. Scorpio can be obsessive. One person could be obsessed with the other and keeping them under control because it's connecting over to Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter. It's really Pluto and Saturn over here. So... It's like one person wants to own the other one and that's about control issues and that will cause challenges with the person. Okay, so let's see. And that could be vice versa. Like someone's trying to control you. They want every they want full control over your everyday life. That's the deep shadow of Scorpio. Okay, so and then we have Mercury retrograde, so there could be people coming back from the past as well, wanting closure or wanting to communicate with you. Okay, let's see what's coming in here for Capricorn for the next 48 till Friday the 16th. And if any of you are interested, I'm having a sale on my jewelry on my website, starseed1111.com, because I hit a subscriber goal. <laughs> so, I don't know, I just felt like, uh, I'll just do a little sale. Okay, let's get this started. For Capricorn, next 48. What are the energies surrounding Capricorn? The Ten of Cups. This is the Happily Ever After card. This is about everything is falling into place. It's complete emotional satisfaction and 
all your emotional needs are met. It could be you're spending time with family. It's very fulfilling. It could be some good news that you're getting. You're emotionally fulfilled and complete. Knight of Cups. Okay, so you get some good news. So somebody brings you a message. There's feelings attacks, attached to this message. You know, they have some good news, some happy news. Expressing how they feel. The Four of Swords, okay? So you're resting. You are um, taking a time out. So there's something here where you're not responding. You're just sort of laying down your sword for a minute. Maybe you went through an exhausting process. We have a Page of Wands, an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius reaching out to you, sending you a message. Dealing with somebody youthful, creative, and optimistic. The Chariot card. Okay, this is a victory. It means you could be somebody coming back towards you. Um, it's the energy of movement, but it's victory. It's forward movement, great momentum. So somebody is trying to come in. You're very happy, Ten of Cups. You overcame something, but you're, you're needing a break. Wow, so Three of Pentacles, socializing, collaborating, getting together with people. Um, it's the energy of people supporting each other at work, teamwork. It can be recognition for your teamwork as well. Okay, so some of you are just literally like not wanting to take any action. You're just hanging in limbo, thinking about something, the energy of Neptune. So you're spending a lot of time in your mind imagining something or having an awakening or trying to see the situation, trying to think about a certain situation. You're kind of in limbo, but you're just, you're not taking any action. Okay, so let's see. The environment has a tower. Wow. So around you is a tower. Or someone you know, around you has something unexpected happen. Your hope or fear is the Eight of Swords. You're, you're very worried or you don't want to be trapped. The illusion of being trapped is just in your mind. But something around you. Okay, so what is the final outcome here for Capricorn? There's a tower in the environment. When I've had the tower in the environment, it could be like something in politics or on TV. It's something that happens where you see it and it's like, whoa, but it's not you. And you don't even respond to it. You're just like, huh, that's a big deal. <laughs> We have a page of pentacles, so we have some good news about money coming in towards you, a message, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo person sending you a message, it's usually good news about finances, it's a messenger, they're bringing you the news, so what is the page of pentacles, what is the page of pentacles? What is the Page of Pentacles? What is the Page of Pentacles? 
Okay, Page of Pentacles is the Three of Cups, having a reunion, a celebration, toasting the good news, getting together with people and toasting, and it's celebration of a harvest. So you have some kind of a harvest. Eight of Wands, there's a lot of information coming in. It, there's a burst of activity. It could be regarding your business, where you get a lot of messages all at once, a lot of orders, or a lot of... Um, a lot of communication happens all all at once so what is this tower in the environment angels and spirit guides what do we have here for the tower for the environment what's the tower for the environment wow so an aries leo sagittarius masculine and the fool so there's an um somebody takes action they're going off on a new journey or a new beginning a completely new life here for an aries a leo or sag somebody you know who is taking the lead they're stepping into a leadership role where they are starting from scratch they're starting over they're going on a new journey Okay, that's the environment. So a fire sign over here came up as a page. They're now turning into a king. Which means to me they are making a big decision. What's the three of pentacles? What's the three of pentacles? The world card, achieving great success. The completion of a cycle, but it's about great success. You've learned all the lessons. You're no longer you know, a newbie at anything. What is the Four of Swords? What is the Four of Swords? Clarify the Four of Swords. There we go. The Lovers. Not talking to someone. It could be a love interest. You're sort of cutting off communication. It could be a Gemini. This person's coming in towards you. Could be somebody who wants a new beginning with you and you're like, I'm not so sure. What is the chariot crowning? What is the chariot crowning? What is the chariot crowning? Period. is an ace of coin wow so somebody is charging in towards you either giving you a gift um, it's something very successful it could be a lump sum it could be a contract it's anything that would be new or a lump sum a gift somebody wants to give you a pentacle which would mean they want uh, a real situation with you that it would either be a commitment or they want to do business with you or something like that. Okay, let's get one more. What is this Ace of Pentacles? What is the Ace of Pentacles? The treasure chest and rushing in. Somebody is rushing in, very determined to either give it to you or you're very determined to get it and it's here. What is the Ace of Coin? What's the Ace of Pentacles? The moon. It's something hidden from your view. You don't know that this is coming in. The Emperor. Wow, it could be Aries that you're dealing with. An Aries, or it could be a boss. It could be a promotion that you don't see coming. Okay. The bottom of the deck with the emperor is about power. Somebody is either sharing their wealth with you. You're the energy that you're doing though is like you're you're not taking any action at all. You're just sort of thinking about it. Like, oh, okay. So now I have have faith. Your prayers are manifesting, remain positive, follow your guidance. And it came out with this one. Protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. 
I think Taurus got that one too. So I'm going to leave, leave it here for you guys. Uh, please check out my website, starseed1111.com. I'm having a sale. Thank you and take care.